This is the scene at Adria Karting Raceway. As we prepare for the OK final, it promises to be sensational. Welcome to wherever you are watching us live from arguably the finest kart racing circuit in the world. Special shout out to our friends over in Mexico, the GPI Grand Prix at Guadalajara, where last year's Champions Cup winner, and world champion for that matter, Paulo de Conto, Nicole Gonzalez, uh, racing in the GPI Grand Prix. We look forward to them joining us in the remaining rounds of the Supermaster Series. A big audience over in North America and the GPI Grand Prix at Guadalajara taking place in Mexico, one of the many countries competing here this weekend in the first round of the Supermaster Series. 264 drivers from more than 40 nations around the world for this, the first round of a four-round series. The OK final, it promises to be spectacular. It is a Cart Republic lockout of the front row of the grid. Lorenzo Travisanuto, who is the 2016 Supermaster Series champion, starts out of pole. And the German Hannes Janka for the TB Racing Team on the outside of the front row of the grid. There is snow-capped mountains in the background, but the haze has not lifted. It is a sunny day. It is a dry track. That you look at, as you look at Lorenzo Travisanuto with his hard-working mechanic, Alessandro Levrati, about to push him into life. As I say, the Kart Republic chassis. That is Hannes Janka. Superb in the pre-final, driving for the German TB racing team on the outside of the front row of the grid. All second row is all Tony Kart with Dynamite David Vidalis, the Spaniard, the twice vice world champion. Out of grid number three for the factory Tony Kart racing team. And here's alongside Nitro Nicholas Nielsen, who won here the Champions Cup Relatively easily, it must be said, seven days ago. The challenge is a lot harder here today. A super racing driver is Nicholas, arguably one of the finest kart racers to emerge in the world in the last half decade. Also, to throw it in, he actually dominated the last round of the Ferrari Challenge in Italy. He's racing for the KSM Schumacher Racing Team out of Germany in 2-0-1. Roman Stanek. And the, ch the Czech and the Dutchman, Glenn Van Berlo, that's the third row of the grid. We'll go through it all for you in just a moment as the carts are being prepared to push into life. That is the Czech Starnek 225 for the Cosmic Racing Department. The team managed superbly by Olivier Marichel, many a time world champion. As the green flag flies... From our assistant race director, Mr. Marco Carlino, that was a glimpse of Glenn Van Berlo, the Dutchman, in the World Championship winning Zanardi Kart, being pushed into life. So Hannes Janka in the KR chassis, 236 on the outside, but pole is Travis Anuto also for KR Motorsport. Vidalis, Nielsen, Stanek, Van Berlo, the 2016 world champ, Pedro Hilbrand back with CRG on grid seven alongside Johnny, the Englishman Edgar. Hello to his family watching back in Cumbria in England, including his grandfather, Terry, 1977 British champion was Terry Edgar. Before the Super One series even existed. Johnny to start out of grid number eight. The Italians, Marcellia and Ferrari, the fifth row of the grid. Dexter Patterson, the reigning junior world champion out of 21. He raced last week with damaged ribs. He's still not 100%, if truth be told. But have you ever met a Scotsman who was not as tough as nails? He's on the 11th row of the grid alongside the boy from Barbados, Zane Maloney. Once again, they're watching us live over at the Bushy Park Circuit in the Caribbean. 
Zayn alongside the reigning junior world champion, Dexter Patterson. This is a class field. We started with 58 entries here this weekend, 58 drivers. It's a far cry from the declining days of KF. The fields are getting stronger and stronger. The racing promises to be absolutely spectacular over the following 20 laps. Travis Nudol, 255. Hannes Janka, 236. Out of the Bridgestone hairpin. On the Bridgestone tyres, we are ready to go. The first of this four-round series to start 2018. Hannes Janka looking to slingshot himself around the outside from grid number two. They come up to the line. Look at the smoke haze rise. And it will do so once again. This is not the start. We have another formation lap. You could almost pick that. The race director, Mr. Alessandro Ferrari, sends them around one more time. The pace was slow. Nothing wrong with it. It's his prerogative to do so. Travis Anuto. Watch the start from the Italian. Many people watching Travis Anuto get away off the start. And to be honest, many people scratching their heads when he does so to see what on earth he's doing wrong. He starts out a pole. He dictates the pace. Hannes Janka. He has to watch Travis Anuto. Lorenzo will control the pace. It's up to him. Vidalis is 2.50. Nielsen 2.01. Both in Vortex Tony Carts on the second row of the grid. Twenty laps. An identical start. The smoke rises. Travis Sanuto will lead them down into turn one. Hannes Janka slots into the trapping. Vidalis into second spot in the first of the green machines. Nielsen has missed out badly. Nitro Nicholas is back into position number six. Hannes Janka into third. They come down into the turn five hairpin for the first time. Roman Stanek down the inside almost makes contact with the German. Slots back into P4. One and two, Travis Anuto, Vidalis, they skip away already at the opening stage of this race. Up into position number five. It's the 2016 world champion, Pedro Hilfrand. Up into position number four now goes Pedro. Watch for the Spaniard to make his presence felt over the remaining 19 laps. Lorenzo leads them across the line from Vidalis. Hannes Janka, Hilbrand, Starnik, Nielsen back to sixth. Not a good start for the Dane. He's one ahead of Edgar Van Berlo. TJ Joyner, that is Tom in P9, his first race for the French Soddy Kart team. He's one spot ahead of the fastest qualifier, Moraine Kramers, in the Viral Art, who rounds out the top ten. So Travis Inuto being shadowed by the Spaniard. Starnik just in the background. Goes down the inside and takes Pedro Hilbrandt. The Spaniard goes back a spot. The check up into P4. Look at the freight train coming out of the Bridgestone airbin. Vidalis has got the Italian in his sights. The Vortex winds up. The Barilla does likewise. Lowers the blind on the radiator. These 125cc engines up to temperature. The Spaniard looking for a way past the Italian. The Kart Republic chassis versus the Tony Kart. The Perilla versus the Vortex. Down through the turn five hairpin. Travis Anuto just late to pull over to the right side of the track just to put some doubt in the mind of the Spaniard. Already under the eye of Ferrari is David Vidalis, the twice vice world champion. Running in second spot, Hannes Janka, superb in third. And then here comes the cavalry for the bottom step of the podium, trying to chase down. The TV racing driver led by Stanek in fourth at the moment. Over the ripple strip they go. They wind it up one more time. 16,000 RPM here at Adria. 123, possibly 125 k's an hour for Vidalis. Down into turn number two, they scream. These OK direct drive engines. And Hannes Yanker, it must be said, 
is catching them. You can see the German, 9 tenths of a second behind. Vidalis needs to do something quick smart, or he'll have Hannes Janka in another TB KR Republic chassis breathing down his neck. Starnik in P4, Nielsen now up into P5. Here comes the Dane. He's ahead of Hilfrand, watching to the Bridgestone air pin. Here comes the Spaniard. Dynamite David Vidalis makes his move for Tony Kart. Leads here at Adria. Ravi Sanuto looking to get heat in the tyres. You saw him pull out of the shadow. We take a look at the replay. Travi Sanuto withstood the pressure for two, possibly three laps, but now it is the Spaniard who's got to the lead and pulling away. Hannes Janka in P3. Travis Sanuto, can he respond? Then the Czech Stanek in P4, one step off the podium. Nielsen, Edgar Hilbrand, Lord Enzo Ferrari, Glenn Van Berlo and still Kramers rounds out the 10. A lot of eyes on Hilbrand here this weekend. First race back with CRG in Europe. However, it's his second race for the season. Back with his old team that he dominated the 2016 season with. Thomas Yanka also ducks out of the shadow to try and keep heat in those Bridgestone tyres. Hilbrand, along with former 2011 World Cup champion Joey Hansen, competing in the Dubai O Plate a couple of weeks ago at the Dubai Autodrome. Good representation once again from drivers from the United Arab Emirates. David Bright and all the team over there in the Middle East running a fantastic event, attracting the likes of the 2016 World Champion. That was Pedro's first race with CRG. This is Pedro's first race in Europe back with his whole team and he runs in P7. He's falling back off the podium. Edgar, quickest driver on the track now in P6. The reigning junior European champion. 2-2-3 for Forza Racing. What a season they had last year. Looking for Nielsen. There he is. P5 coming up behind the Czech Starnik. Over the ripple strip, they smash down the inside to the turn five hairpin. The rubber going down. We watch him into this next corner. Junior driver Kai Askey, when he was testing, right at that point there, was pulling 2.9 Gs at 74 Ks an hour with a little bit of extra horsepower. These OK Direct Drive carts have as Nielsen goes up the inside. They're pushing more than three G forces. That is direct data from the Ricky Glenn Motorsport team. 123 k's an hour down into turn number one. Nielsen now into fourth place. One step off the podium, here comes the Super Dane. Nitro Nicholas, he dominated the season opener Champions Cup seven days ago, almost to the minute. And he runs one step off the podium. He's just got past the check. Roman Starnik, then it's Edgar, Hilbrand, Ferrari, Van Berlo, now Marcella. Leonardo in another Card Republic chassis from Dino Chiesa's team, rounds out the top 10. Zane Maloney from grid number 22. Zane Maloney from Barbados. Up into P14, just behind the two grids, Tom Joyner and Callum Bradshaw. Then it's Kramers, then it's Marcellia, as I mentioned. Van Berlo, Ferrari ahead. Hillbrand, then we get to this battle for the lead. We have a lost Matej Kaczowski, the Czech Republic driver. And unfortunately for Dexter Patterson, the reigning junior world champion, his 2018 campaign has not got off to a great start. He is one of only two retirements in this race as we come up approaching half race distance. 32 st runners still. Incredibly down in position number 13 is Juhal Valtonen third in the CIK World Championships at PFI in England. The Cotilla Sports Team driver, Vortex Power Cosmic, not having a good run here this afternoon. Super quick is the fin, and look at that! Travis Anuto looks behind, he waves to Hannes Yanka. he just points gently to Vidala, says, let's work together. They're not exactly teammates, they are on the same chassis. 
But Davi Vidal is the Spaniard in the green machine. He's definitely the enemy. As Trani Sinuto goes up the inside, Hannes Janka tries to follow him through. Vidal closes the door on the exit. That move was inevitable. So will be the response. Here comes Nielsen, also the Dane in P4. Roman Starnik, the Czech in P5. Bill Brand back into sixth. Ferrari has got past Edgar. Lorenzo Ferrari driving for Jordan Lennox Racing Team on the podium a week ago. In the WSK Champions Cup was Lorenzo. He has been a standout performer in the last six months or so. He runs in P6. That's outstanding. He's just got by Pedro Hillbrand. So this is half race distance. Travis Nuto, Super Masters Series champion from 2016, is the race leader. He's starting to bunch up behind him though. The mechanical defect flag goes out to Mario Zug. His teammate just goes through and takes second place. Mario Zug has to retire as Hannes Janka, his teammate, goes into second place. Card Republic chassis one and two. The green machines, they're three and four. The threat will it come from Vidalas? I suspect, I suggest, it won't be the Spaniard, it will be Nitro Nicholas, one of the most talented racing drivers on the planet. He runs in P4, the 20 year old from Denmark for the German KSM Schumacher Racing Team. His fourth closes in on the back of Vidalas. Can he take the fight up the inside? First, it's Vidalas. The factory Tony Cut goes P4. Nielsen will come on. He will catch them. I suspect Vidalas won't give too much of a fight. Instead, we'll try and follow Nielsen through. Card Republic chassis one and two. Fastest lap, 49.028 for the German Hannes Janka. He's in second spot. This is awesome here at Adria. Nielsen on the podium, coming on strong. The gap, six tenths of a second. He didn't get the start. He was back to sixth in the traffic. It was worse than Times Square at peak hour for the Dane. He's worked his way past. Vidalis in the factory machine. Hannes Yanka up the inside. The KR Karts trade positions. And look at Nielsen. Here comes the Dane. Seven laps. Now remaining the opening round of the Super Master Series for 2018. Oh, how good is this here in Northern Italy? Hannes Yanka, the TV racing team driver, not only has got into the lead, look at the gap. He's already put on Travis Nuto, the 2016 Super Master Series champion, falling into the clutches of Nielsen. Nielsen will make a move on the Italian in the following laps. Be assured, he's already dropped off Vidalas. This is awesome here at Adria. The first round of the Super Masters Series for 2018. Nielsen closes up. That's Vidalas losing touch with the leaders. They go past the abandoned cart of the Spaniard Javier Zagreda. The CRG is out. Joins Kachowski, Patterson and Maria Zug. The only retirements. We've still got 30 runners. We've still got six laps to go. The first round of the Super Master Series. A nail biter is being led by the German Hannes Janka. Was Bradshaw going through? Callum in P10 from Leicester in England. The CRG team driver, Hill Brandt, the best of the cards from Desenzano, Pedro in P7 at the moment. Still ahead of Edgar Kramer's now up into P9. The fastest qualifier in the Viral Arts on Friday night. Five laps now remaining. Hannes Janka looking good here this afternoon. Rafi Sanuto, a quick glance behind him to Nitro Nicholas. What has the talented Dane got? What has the talented Italian got? Any response for the German who's looking to take the biggest win of his career here this afternoon? Hilbrand goes through. Kramers. 
Bradshaw, Edgar, Marcelia, Gustafsson with Team Smurf for 2018. Gustafsson with the Cosme Kart team for 2018. 12th ahead of Maloney, Karinini, Chibico, Joyner, and Vincent Frace, the Soddy Karts. After being in the top three consistently in the heats, not having a good run here in the final. They're back outside the top 15. We'll see them back for the second round of the Super Master Series at South Garda Karting at Monato on March 4. Edgar going through, then it's Bradshaw, now up into ninth. Marcelia Kramers has dropped outside the top 10 in 11th. Here's David Rosenfeld. Time is running out though. Hannes Janka looking good here this afternoon. Nielsen, can he mount a challenge? Can he get past Travis and Udo? They are driving as hard as they possibly dare. Hannes Janka looking for his first ever win in WSK International Competition here this afternoon. The challenge from the KR Kart of the 2016 Series Champion, Travis Anuto. Nielsen, conservative, coming onto the straight, trying to keep the revs up. He may be losing tyres on that Tony Kart this early at this final stage of the race. Just saw him try and keep it as straight as he possibly can. As hard as he possibly can, he's losing time. He set the cart up to come on. He didn't get the good start. He's back in third, he's on the podium. No fuss, no nonsense, just strong from Nielsen. But he may just be missing that final fraction of a second. When I say fraction, I mean less than a tenth. 48.900 for Hannes Janka. 48.962, 48.981 for Travis Anuto and Nielsen last time round. There are now two laps to go. The gap is half a second. Hannes Jenka throws in the fastest second sector of the entire race. The TV racing team from Germany. There's Nielsen. He's got nothing left. He's given 100% here this afternoon. As always, the KSM Schumacher Tony Kart, there will be nothing left of it at the end of this. Travis Anuto hasn't given up hope, but the gap is half a second. There is one half, one and a half laps to go. Hannes Janka into the Bridgestone hairpin for the penultimate time. He will come across the line to get the last lap board. Looking at the biggest win of his career. Kart Republic chassis. Let's remember, they run one and two. Nielsen has a long look behind him. He's left Vidalis. 1.4 seconds further back down the road. Ferrari up into P5. Awesome drive from young Lorenzo. But this is the last lap for the German. Hannes Janka. Will nerves get the better of him? He can't throw it away from here. The gap is still half a second. There's just 500 metres to go. Through the left-hander, Travis Sanuto is closing, but he won't get there into the Bridgestone hairpin for the final time. Down through the Magni Korsha Kane. He looks behind him. The checkered flag comes out for the German. Hannes Janka wins in Adria. He takes the biggest win of his career. He is absolutely delighted. Lorenzo Travis Anuto makes it Kart Republic chassis. One and two. Nitro Nicholas Nielsen drove the wheels off that KSM kart. He finishes in position number three. But it will be the German national anthem that we will hear on top of the podium here this afternoon. Travis Anuto with a 48.861 on his final lap. He finished four tenths of a second, fastest lap of the race to the Italian. But there is the race winner. A huge congratulations. Great sportsmanship shown by Callum Bradshaw also. Congratulates Hannes Janka, the biggest win of his career. He will stand atop the podium here at Adria this afternoon. He is the winner of the first round of the WSK Super Masters Series on a glorious winter's day here in Northern Italy. Travis Anuto's second, you saw he got the gap down to four tenths 
at the race end. And Nicholas Nielsen, his second podium in a week, he takes third, gave it everything. Had it not been for that rough start, who knows, but that's history. We'll see him back here, or back for the second round of the Supermaster Series, March 4 at South Garda Karting. Hannes Janka, the German, wins the first round of the Supermaster Series. Sensational racing here in the sunshine at the finest kart racing complex on the planet. Adria Raceway, the podium presentation in just a few moments. Sunshine, what a relief it is to say that. We had forecast snow here at Adria yesterday. That fortunately did not materialise. Freezing cold, minus five degrees this morning. But it's around eight degrees. Beautiful sunshine and a dry track here this afternoon. A sensational race. Nielsen third, Travis Anuto and Hannes Janka takes the biggest win of his career. The German for the TB racing team making their way up to the podium. Of course, after this one, we will have the KZ2 final. It's an all Saudi cart lockout for the KZ2 final with Adrien Renaudan for CPB Sport to start that one on pole position with Alex Irland or the KZ2 international Super Cup winner to start on the outside of the front row of the grid. The drivers making their way up to the podium. The Bridgestone caps go on. And we're about to get underway with the podium here this afternoon. A sensational race, a sensational start to the 2018 season. Three different European nationalities on the top of the podium here this afternoon. A new winner, and it's the biggest win of his career. You saw both arms go up in the air as he crossed the line. And... The German, Hannes Janka, absolutely delighted as he wins here this afternoon. He won the Champions Cup seven days ago. He gave it absolutely everything here this afternoon. He finishes in third from Denmark for KSM Schumacher Racing. It is Nitro, Nicholas Nielsen. Fastest lap of the race on his final tour. He came up four tenths of a second short. A sensational drive, second here this afternoon for Cart Republic from Italy, Lorenzo Travisanuto. It is the biggest win of his career, no doubt. The German for TB Racing driving the Cart Republic chassis. The winner of the first round of the Supermaster Series from Germany, Hannes Janka. The third place trophy to Nicholas Nielsen of Denmark. Second place to Lorenzo Travisanuto of Italy. The winner of the first round of the series, Hannes Janka from Germany. As we stand by for the national anthem of Germany. Podium for the first round of the WSK Supermaster Series. Third place, Nicholas Nielsen. Second, Lorenzo Travisanuto. And the winner from Germany, Hannes Janka.
the final race of the afternoon, KZ2, in just a few moments. This is the first round of the Supermaster Series at Adria, live on WSK.IT. The French driver, Adrien Renaudin, to start from pole.